I went to my local Michael store on Monday, February 28th in search of grab bags and I was in luck. They had a ton of them still available and were even filling them when I went into the store. The grab bags this time of year usually have Christmas items, so I can't wait to see what's inside my three boxes. Hey guys, it's Morgan with The Life and Crafting, and today is Michael's Grab Bag Days. A few times a year, Michael's puts their leftover seasonal and holiday items in large boxes or bags and sell it to us for $5 each. You're able to find hundreds of dollars worth of stuff retail in these boxes, so it's an amazing deal. This year, I picked up three boxes, part of their March grab bag offering, and I can't wait to show you all what's inside. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and now, let's unbox. Check out one of my favorite grab bag finds probably ever. It's this Jingle Bell Christmas tree. It has a nice farmhouse and rustic theme with gold bells that actually jingle. So that is a steal. This retails originally for $40, so it was a great find in my grab bag. It is not damaged. There's nothing wrong with it. It does have some rustic embellishments to it, so I think it's absolutely beautiful, and I can't wait to put it out next year, part of my holiday decor. Look at these great crafters finds that were in my grab bag this year. This one is a light up Christmas tree and you can take these out to paint them. There's a light right here in the center. This one had nothing wrong with it. I did get a reindeer one that did unfortunately have a little damage, but it's nothing that I can't overlook or fix. And this one also has a light. These both retail for $15 each. If you love seasonal floral, I definitely recommend checking out grab bags. Michael tends to put a lot of floral in these baskets of things that they don't end up selling during the season, so you can find stuff at a really great price. I got two of these berry bushes. They're absolutely beautiful. They retail for $20 each. They're very tall. Gotta back up here to fit it all in the camera frame. They're gorgeous. There's nothing wrong with it. All the berries are here. There's no damage, and this is a great find. These will look absolutely beautiful with my Christmas decor and it is even a lot better of a deal than the Dollar Tree. Also in my floral finds are these two different uh, Christmas bushes. They're just labeled Christmas stem. These are $12 each. This one has more of a flocking finish to it and this one is regular. Again, really great finds. These were all in a box for $5. An amazing deal. To round out my floral finds, I got these three beautiful Christmas stems. These are a lot better quality than the ones you'll find at the Dollar Tree and an even better price. I was so excited when I opened up my grab bags and saw lots of Christmas garland. They had some really beautiful stuff. This is one of my favorites. I'll just put it up close so you can see it. This has uh, ornaments on it, some flocked greenery. There's even some eucalyptus here, snowflakes, pine needles really really gorgeous there's even some glitter on here love that for me and it's gorgeous this is a six foot piece of garland retail was fifty dollars an amazing deal once again from the grab bags i was fortunate there were two of these in one bag so i do have 12 feet total of this so i can match it potentially put it outside or try to incorporate it in my decor but really lucky to have found this. I've been eyeing garland for a long time, but never made the purchase and glad it was in my grab bag. If you like that garland, check this one out. This is another six foot garland that retails for $70. So thank you, Michael's grab bags. Look at how gorgeous this is. This has pine cones, um, some faux tree clippings on here, and it is stunning. I only got one of these. You can see the back is a lot thicker than the other one. Um, and the greenery is coming off, so I guess I could technically pick this apart and use it if I didn't want to use it just as a garland. But check this out, really cool. Absolutely beautiful. This again, $70 in a $5 box. You can't beat that. This is the last piece of garland I got. Um, that had the faux greenery on it. This one retails for $40 and it has some beautiful berries on it, some eucalyptus, pine cones, really, really stunning. Looking for garland, didn't want to pay retail for it and was able to find it in the grab bags in March, 2022. So thank you, Michaels. My favorite part of grab bags are the random stuff you're gonna find in the boxes 
exhibit A. These are basically bows on a stick. They call them Christmas stems. They are $10 each, but they're just large bows on a metal stick. You could put it in some floral, put it outside if the weather permits in your area. These are great. Would not have purchased this on my own, but definitely going to use these next year since they were in my grab bag. You can never have too many holiday stockings. These are really great. They're super soft. Retail for $7 each. You could absolutely decorate them. I'm not sure how good they would use with heat transfer vinyl, but you could sew buttons on here, use fabric, glitter paint on them, decorate, really cute. They're really, really soft. You could also use it as a gift bag, put it on an ornament. There's so much you could do with this and great find. And there were two of them. So I have a nice pair to use for next year. I also got a lot of these gift bows. Again, great for all year round. You don't have to, you know, use them all together. They're great, especially the silver and gold can go with a lot of different wrapping paper. I put this right in my gift slash party stash to have on hand whenever I need to give a last minute gift or have a party to go to. Any time of year, grab bags usually have a lot of kid friendly items and small crafts and these Christmas ones had that too. Look at this cute cat color in ornament. These are great for stocking stuffers. You can hold on to it for the next year. And I love these. This is a gnome uh, photo ornament. I think they're super cute. I usually put my pet's faces in them just as a cute little decoration. This retails for $2, would not buy it normally. I get all of these in my grab bag, so glad to add to my collection. I also got a few different scrunchie types. This is a tinsel one, really cute. Some of these you can repurpose for other times of the year. The green and gold would look great for St. Patrick's Day. And this green one has a cute little bow at the end. Could also use this outside of Christmas and love this one next year. Going to definitely break these out. Look at how adorable these earrings are. These would make a great Christmas gift next year or just hold on to them for yourself. These retail for uh, $8. So it is a great deal again in the grab bags to have and they're super cute. I also got a lot of cookie cutters. These are great to craft with or give as gifts or keep for yourself. These small little items in the grab bags are really fun too. And it's just great to see what else they throw in there basically as filler. Look at these glasses, they light up. It'd be super fun to wear to a holiday party. These retail for $6, would not normally buy this, but I'll definitely break it out next year for the holiday Zoom party. Super fun and a great little item to have in your arsenal for holiday parties, work parties, or just for fun, whatever you're into. I absolutely love garden flags and I found one in my grab bags. Check this out, a nice Christmas theme one. Great to have, add it next year. This retails for $10 and again, another item in my grab bag that I definitely can find a use for. I got a ton of these pine cone scented sticks. I'm putting them in my car to make it smell like Christmas all year round. Great deal to have or just save it for next year. I hope you enjoy this unboxing video of three Michaels grab bags from March 2022. I'm Morgan with The Life in Crafting. Did you find anything cool in your grab bags? Something you're super excited to share? Let me know in the comments. I would love to see what you found. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.